I am raising my hand, my name is Rick, I am a wildly nurturing guy. I am not an alpha killer professionally, either in employee nor entrepreneurship. I believe in this relationship with Susan that I can nurture and destroy the raising of these three children 24 seven so that they go on to have incredible lives and things of that nature and that is fulfillment for me. I recently saw a video of this guy, Gary Vaynerchuk, and he was saying that stay at home dads should be normalized and it shouldn't be stigmatized to be a stay at home dad. And maybe he's right, but I don't exactly agree with him on the concept of stay at home dads. First of all, I would like to say that when I first saw this video, I didn't have any idea who this man was. Then I looked at some videos that were on YouTube, there were people reacting to him and I have to say that most of the guys reacting to him and disagreeing with him were soy boys. So I am tempted to think that he has some truth to spread but this concept of stay at home dads I don't agree with. There are things I've heard from him from watching a PewDiePie video. <laughs> There are some concepts that he preaches about that I agree with. Like for example, uh, working hard, working for 10 years without any distractions, without some bullshit investments like buying expensive cars and things like that. When that dude raises his hand, every dude in here judges subconsciously or consciously saying you're not good enough and that's fucked up and I am passionate in the same way that I find things that I latch on to that are not being talked about. I am passionate to try to start this conversation because I hear it nowhere of giving permission for every man out there who is desperately interested in being a stay at home dad because they believe that they can crush that incredible task. Why do men judge stay at home dads? The answer is very simple you are denying your most masculine duty when you decide to be a stay-at-home dad which is to provide for your family and some people might say that being a stay-at-home dad is still providing for the family but that is these are two different things providing in the masculine sense of the word means providing financially providing stability and being a stay-at-home dad doesn't do that at all. That is why other men will judge you if you decide to be a stay-at-home dad. You will not get your peers respect and your wife might even start to despise you because of this. She will not be as attracted to you because staying at home and taking care of the children is typically a feminine role and if you decide to do that you are willingly emasculating yourself. This is why people would be judgmental of your decision. Gary thinks it's fucked up that people would judge others based on their decisions about life, but why is it fucked up? I don't think it is. It has been a certain way for the entirety of human existence that men shouldn't sit around and look after kids but should instead be hunting and gathering and protecting. Sitting at home and taking care of kids is traditionally the woman's job because she isn't as physically capable as a man. Now that is not sexist, that is not anything like that, it's just biology. Men and women are not the same, we are biologically different and we are good at different things, hence we have different roles in society. For example, men might be faster and stronger, therefore they are better hunters, and women might be more empathetic, therefore they are better caretakers. Some of you might say, yeah, but uh, this is modern society, women can work too. Yeah, but that doesn't override 500,000 years of evolutionary development.
this is why you would be judged if you decide to go down this path. I believe that the ratio of stay-at-home moms, stay-at-home dads in America and the world should be 50-50. The notion that stay-at-home dads should be present in 50% of relationships is absolutely ridiculous because of two reasons. Firstly, stay-at-home dads are not at all sought after in the sexual marketplace. Women, by and large, would not even consider dating a man that made less money than them. Secondly, even if the previous statement were not true, most men would not choose to be stay-at-home dads because, as explained beforehand, that would be going against their sense of purpose, which would in the long term bring these men nothing but sadness. The relationship where the woman is the alpha and is willing to take care of her man financially and the man sits at home and does chores requires two extremely outlier individuals. This sort of relationship would work 10% of the time at most. This is why it's insane to think that stay-at-home dads should be as represented in society as housewives. Why would a man be interested in being a stay-at-home dad anyway? It might sound good at first, but I believe that you would be sad and depressed because you're not fulfilling your most sacred duty. You are not fulfilling your purpose. You are not chasing after a mission. This goes against your nature. And I've learned that when people go against their nature, they usually end up fucked up. This is mostly why I think being a stay-at-home dad isn't practical. It would go against a man's nature to go out into the world and conquer something, achieve a mission, fulfill his purpose. Men that decide to be stay-at-home dads fundamentally lack their sense of duty, which I believe being a stay-at-home dad isn't the solution. The solution is to have some introspection and find out what your purpose is, find a mission that you are willing to strive towards and that way you will be way happier than if you were to just stay at home, take care of kids, do chores and let your wife be the head of the family. For the listener of this, especially if you're listening to this based on what your business does, there's somebody who's on the five yard line and this little rant is literally gonna make him right now at 11, 13 in the, in the, after, in the morning, get up out of his cubicle get in his car, drive home, and have a real conversation with his wife, and they're both gonna be fucking pumped. No man, nobody's going to be fucking pumped about a man leaving his job and going to his woman and saying to her, I want to be a stay-at-home dad. Just imagine that situation occurring. Imagine you're a man, you have a wife, you have a kid or two, and you decide to leave your job and go to your wife and tell her that I want to be a stay-at-home dad. How would she react? I can tell you how she would react. She'd think you're a pussy and you might be pumped at first because you know that it's easier to stay at home than to go out into the world and actually pursue something and achieve a mission. By the way, I'm not saying that housewives don't do tough shit. I mean, taking care of children is not easy, but it's definitely way easier than some of the jobs that are out there that a lot of men have to do. A lot of men are risking their lives on a daily basis to provide for their families. So, Bilber has said that any job you can do in your pajamas isn't that hard. Couldn't be that hard. So, Nobody is going to be pumped. Your wife will think you're a pussy and in the long term you won't be happy because you are denying your masculine duty. At the end of the day, stay-at-home dads aren't desirable. How many women want a stay-at-home dad? Not many, I'll tell you that. There are probably some cougars that would uh, like you to do fuck all and just be there and like an ornament hanging around. But most women want a man that's at least on their level or better. This has been proven time and time again. Women would not date a man that 
doesn't make as much money as them or more. There have been thousands of interviews of women on the street asking them if they would date a man that made less money than them. The percentage of women that are willing to date such a man is so low that it's fucking ridiculous. If you decided to become a stay-at-home dad, nobody would respect you. Your kids wouldn't respect you because you'd be living under a sandal, your <laughs> woman's sandal, and <laughs> your wife wouldn't respect you because you're denying your duty, man. Come on, it's your fucking job. It's not her job traditionally to take care of you financially. You are fucking up that way. That's all I have to say about this. Stay at home dads, I think shouldn't exist as a concept. Men and women should act in alignment with their nature. Women to take care of shit and men to go out into the world and conquer. This is how it's always been, this is how it should be in my opinion. This has been working for since the dawn of humanity and this bullshit propaganda about feminism women working not uh, being housewives and all that garbage and men being able to become women that hasn't been tested and as time goes on i think everybody would see that it doesn't work i can see it in the west right now the west is crumbling because of this garbage so liberate your mind put everything you hear under heavy scrutiny and thanks for watching.